How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're back with another rebuild. If you guys want to see some more rebuilds, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know what you guys think about the Los Angeles Angels or also as they're known, the Angels Angels. So we're back with the rebuild. We're doing the Los Angeles Angels. And normally when I go into these, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. And to be honest, I really don't know what I want to do with the Angels. So let's take a look at their budget. I know they do have a couple contracts that I'm not too happy with, like Pujols, Upton, Cozart, Cal Calhoun. Um, those are the big one. Uh, Pujols usually up like uh, retires at the end of this season, so we don't really have to worry about paying him the rest of his contract. Upton is hit or miss. Sometimes he does well, sometimes he does bad. So we'll kind of have to see how he does. And then Cozart, Cozart never really does well. So he's a player I want to get off the books. And same with Calhoun. So let's let's take a look at the roster as a whole, and let's see what we can do to change this team. So we got Skags. Skags and Heaney are, are okay. You know, sometimes they give you a couple like mid three ERA seasons, like three point five, three point four. So you're looking at more like a a two three four starter um shohei is hit or miss sometimes he does very well sometimes he does very poorly um we do have griffin canning who i know pitched in real life this season in the bigs um and his debut went fairly well uh we got jaime Bar barria we got dylan peters there's a couple names down here that you know they have some potential but i just don't know if they're gonna make the big league squad maybe canning but we'll have to wait and see cody allen just got dfa'd because he was doing so poorly. So he's not even on the squad anymore. So maybe we'll we'll get rid of him via trade or something. We got Bedrosian who usually does well. Justin Anderson usually does well. Uh, Keenan Middleton takes about a, two or three seasons. But then he he normally kind of hits a, a good like growth spike. So he could be a player we hold on to. Ty Butry, Butry. We'll have to see how he does. Um, catcher wise, Brisegno usually hits about the mid 70s, low 80s. But a catcher might be an area we need to look at. Um, Matt Tice, I don't know if he's going to hit a usable overall by the time Season 5 comes. So we, we're going to need a new first baseman. David Fletcher is not bad. We'll have to see how he does. We have Jemai Jones as well. It's third base. Tommy LaStella is killing it in real life. I think he should be like a B potential player. Maybe a, maybe a low 80. Just by the way he's playing this year. He's been unreal. Um, we got Simmons, who I want to keep as long as possible. Kevin Maitan. Uh, left field is probably an area where we're going to need to up, like find a new position player if Upton doesn't work out. Center field, Joe Adele, Mike Trout. I mean, we have Mike Trout, so we don't have to worry about it anyways. But Joe Adele is definitely a good backup to have for the future. Um, right field, Hermosillo usually develops, but he usually doesn't develop until, I don't know, maybe like 30. So maybe towards the end of the rebuild. So we're kind of in a tricky spot with this Angels team. Plus, the budget's going to be very limited. Big tr big Trout contract, Bullholz, Calhoun, Cozart, Upton, etc. So, we'll see what kind of trades we can make to start Season 1. Alrighty, Sam Dyson has a one-year deal. And I feel like helping the bullpen out for a season at least isn't a terrible idea. We're going to trade away Cozart, and that's really about it. Plus, it's a big salary uh, gap, like a big salary cap that we're going to open up. So, I like this trade a lot. So what I want to do is I'm going to try to get a right fielder right away. We're going to go for Gregory Polanco of the Pirates. Every time I trade for him, it doesn't go well. But then when I trade him away or I look at him in like franchises when I don't use him, he always hits like 300 with like 25 plus home runs. So I'm going to give him one more shot, see how it goes. We're going to be trading Taylor Ward, Michael Hermosillo, and Cole Calhoun. I want to see if I can keep Hermosillo, maybe add somebody else. Okay, that works. Um, that doesn't. So what we'll do is we'll give him Brandon Marsh instead of Hermosillo. And that'll be the trade. All right, Cesar Puello was traded to the Marlins in real life. So just to kind of keep it realistic, we're going to do that. We also released Cody Allen because he was DFA'd by the Angels anyways. So I think I want to make one more trade. So this is how we're going to go with Season 1. The Angels are kind of tough because they don't really have players that have a lot of trade value that I would want to trade away. Like, Otani has good trade value. You know, Mike Trout has value. And uh, Andrelton Simmons. But, like, those are players I want to keep around. They, they, they perform 
like well. They're, they're players that I want to keep in the lineup. So when I'm looking at this, we, we do have a couple tricky contracts. We do have aging players that don't really have trade value. So really working with this team, you kind of have to just wait out those bad contracts, wait for salary space to open up, and then you know bring in players as that salary cap space opens up. So I'm going to give Justin Upton a season. Justin Bohr, I'm just going to let his contract ride out. Pool Holse, I hope it uh, retires at the end of the year. And, I mean, maybe David Fletcher performs very well. He develops. Um, but we're, we're just going to have to wait and see. This is this is going to be a rough first year. Um, the pitching staff isn't even that good. So we'll have to see how things go. All right, so season one's draft was, it was okay. Like two big players, Adrian Barrios, 99 potential, 73 overall. We are in need of bullpen help. So that's why I went with him as our first pick. The next main one is Russell Park, 66 overall with 84 potential. Again, we need bullpen help. That's why I was kind of focusing some pitchers along the lines. We had a couple 70 potential players, but nothing too good. So that's, that's season one's draft. So something I kind of completely like just like skip past past was the fact that Otani really isn't pitching this year and he's more of a DH and I guess we really didn't need Polanco because of that. So that's a complete like oversight on my part. So maybe move Otani to right field. Let's see what he his overall is because right now he is not uh um okay i guess i can't change his position hmm okay well there's that so i mean he's gonna stay a starting pitcher then i guess which kind of sucks because i kind of wanted to make him an outfielder because then we could have moved him to the outfield but i guess that's 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 not a possibility um with this riding rosters uh, like this this riding rosters because it sucks because we could really use him at the dh spot I mean, Justin Bohr's not having a bad season. Uh, Gregory Polanco's actually having a really good season. Justin Upton, who really solid, but I thought maybe we could uh, use him as a, a DH outfielder for us. All right, so we finished last in the division in the West, 79 and 83, which is about, about 500. That's kind of what I expected from us. Um, I didn't expect us to do really well. League leaders-wise, Mike Trout did very well. I think he had like the best... Um, oh, these are the playoff stats. He had like the most walks, the best slugging percentage. Oh, uh, I'm bit no best most walks, best slugging percentage. And there was another stat. It wasn't like home runs or anything. Um, we didn't. Uh, Mike Trout won a Hank Aaron Award. That was about it. That's really about it. So nothing too crazy. Um, when we look at the lineups, Simmons hit about 300. Fletcher hit 250. Um, Trout hit 317, 327. Justin Upton actually had a pretty solid year. He almost hit 300. Like, if he continues to do this, we don't need to worry about a left fielder. Polanco hit 270, um, almost 280, which is great. Like, that's what I want to see, like, from the right fielder that we traded for. Bohr hit about 270, which isn't too bad. Lestella hit about 250. Same with the pool holes. Um, actually, 270. That's not too bad. And then Luke Roy. Luke Roy did okay, 260. Um, our bench bats were okay, 260. I think this one was a little bit less, 225. And this one, uh, Kevin Smith was pretty low, too, 250. The pitching is where things went really poorly. Andrew Heaney had a pretty solid season, you know, a 376 ERA. And when I say solid, that's comparable to, like, that's when I'm comparing them to the rest of the starters because Skaggs was over four, almost a five. Trevor Cahill did okay, 3-5. So Heaney and Cahill were like our best two pitchers, 3-7, 3-5. Not great. But, you know, whatever. 5.6. And then Otani had like an 8. Yeah, 8.3. So, not too great. Matt Harvey didn't have a bad season. 3.29. And then, um, I won't highlight these two. They did really bad. Noe Ramirez had a 3.4. Dyson had a 3.5. Um, Robles, I think, had like a mid-4. No, a 5. Anderson had like an 8. And Bedrosian had like a mid-3 or low-3. So, you know, we had we had a couple, you know, decent pitchers in the bullpen, but nothing like I'm like, oh my god, we we're set for the future. So overall, we don't really have any prospects either to really look forward to for next season. I mean, Griffin Canning, possibly, um, but outside of that, I really wouldn't get too excited about a prospect joining us just yet. We're gonna sim to the off season. Red Sox defeat the Cubs. 
let's see who retired pool holes did retire all right so that opens up a good bit of cap space for us so exclusive negotiations trevor cahill's interesting how much does he want maybe for like a year three mil yes as a like a three four five starter maybe in our two starter that is something like i'm cool with so luke roy was our best catcher how much does he want three mil 3.6 one more year is not bad matt harvey didn't do too poorly but i don't think he's going to continue to do that so i'm gonna i'm gonna advance past that i'll get staff later let's see what we can do here um 40 man definitely want to make sure middleton is added to the 40 arbitration uh to be honest maybe not tropiano or ramirez but I might offer everybody else one just to have like that those options for bench bats and stuff. And then I think everybody here will get a contract. Maybe not Pena. I'm going to see what other starting pitches are available. So Pena might be the only one that doesn't make the cut. Alrighty, heading into season two, I made a lot of pickups. And the more I think about it, I think I may have went overboard with the bullpen. Because now we kind of have a little, we have like a lot of mid 70s overall pitchers that I think we could probably trade for a little bit better player. So we got Erasmo Ramirez as a starter who he looked okay at the time, but the more I think about it, I might trade him for maybe a younger pitcher that's kind of the same overall. Uh, we brought in Edgar Santana who looks like he's going to be a good bullpen arm for the future um, for at least two, three seasons for us. Um, Carlos Estevez was more of a, a pitcher who I thought maybe could come in and help us. We'll have to wait and see. Durbin Feltman, I think, is more like looking at like season four, season five. Good stats already. I think down the line he'll be very good. Um, who else did we bring in? Rendon is the big one. Third base is locked up now. We're good here. He's our long-term third baseman. Uh, we brought in Addison Reed maybe for a season or two. I thought maybe he could help us out in the bullpen. Um, Jose Abreu is going to be our first baseman. I know he's not necessarily a young guy, but he was one of the better first basemen avail available. And I just didn't feel like Justin Bohr was good enough to be our day in and day out first baseman. Um, I think that might be it. That was it for free agency. A lot of relievers um, that you know I thought maybe we needed. But then when you look at the bullpen, we have an all righty bullpen. Um, I feel like we could use a long reliever. And I mean, like Ty Butri, I don't think is going to be good enough. Hansel Robles, I think we could trade. Maybe trade some of these like mid 70s guys for like a, a low 80s, mid 80s guy. Plus, when we look at this, we got Addison Reed here still. We got Estevez. We got Keenan Middleton. Um, you know, we got Barrios who could come in in a season or two. And I feel like this is an area where we could strengthen the starting pitching. Um, I mean, we got we got a couple OK rated players now. Cahill for a season. Then we got Cole, Barria, Canning. So, I mean, we also have Bridwell and Peters who we could trade for a better starting pitcher. So I feel like we could we could make some trades with these mid-70s players for a lot higher overrated or a lot higher overall pitcher. So let's 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 do that to start season two. Like I said, let's trade some of these aging starting pitchers for a younger pitcher who's gonna develop a little bit more. We're gonna go for Eduardo Rodriguez. I think we only have what? two lefties in the starting rotation so maybe adding a third probably isn't the smartest but you know what we're gonna do it anyways for Rasmo rodriguez or ramirez and parker bridwell and julian leon we're gonna do it at another decent starting pitcher that that looks like a solid move all right hansel robles connor justice and dylan peters for aj minter like i said we needed a new we need a lefty in the bullpen we're gonna get one here aj minter and wes parsons he's not necessarily high rated or anything but at least we're getting a B potential player in return. Um, let me see what we're looking like now. And if we make more trades, I'll show you. Alrighty, Joe Gatto, Sam Dyson, and Luis Garcia for Emilio Pagan. Um, I think that might be it. Let me see what we can do um, with the rotation and everything. And I'll get the lineup set up for season two. Alrighty, season two is going to look like this. Pitching rotation, I'm still kind of iffy on. We'll, we'll have to see how things go. Um... I, I, uh, Otani's just not a pitcher, you know, like I just don't feel like he's gonna be good here I feel like he'd be better in the field So we brought up Taylor Cole to be kind of our long reliever and then when we look at this I liked Boutry's stats a little bit um, Compared to like Pagan um, Pagan's good right now. I want to see how he does next year. We do have Estevez 
Middleton, and Barrios. So we kind of have like some good pitchers to look forward to for the future. Um, we have Ramirez, Addison Reed, Anderson, Santana, Minter as our only lefter, and then Bedrosian. I'm not too sure about Bedrosian as the closer. I know he's been kind of an opener for the Angels in real life. So we'll see how he does as our closer. We'll see. Lineup wise, I like the way we're starting to look. I mean, look at the Simmons, Rendon, Trout, Upton, Abreu, Polanco. Um, good with Lucroy Listella, meh. But you know what? It's all right. We do have a couple prospects to look out for. Hermesio now has eight potential, so that's good to see. So he should start to grow a little bit quicker. He's also in the everyday lineup. Adele, Maitan, and then Jemai Jones. So overall, I, I kind of like the way the lineup looks. It's the rotation and the bullpen that I'm really worried about. So that's season two's lineup and rotation. Let's get into it. Season two, we actually won the division 93 and 69. And at one point we were like 500, I think right before the trade deadline. Um, like in this area, we were kind of at the point where we were like 60 and 55 or something like that. That might not add up right, but we we were about 500. So I was a little worried if we, we'd even be close to like even a wild card spot. But I mean, look at Mike Trout. Mike Trout is putting up crazy numbers. 55 home runs. Eduardo Rodriguez is looking like in his first season, he made a huge impact. Trout MVP, Hank Aaron, and Cy Young for Tyler Skaggs. Okay, so we actually had quite a few people pitch pretty well. So Skaggs, 3.32 ERA, a 1.24 whip, which isn't amazing. I mean, it's about average. Um, 19 and 6, a good amount of strikeouts. So, I mean, I guess not terrible. Heaney, not bad. Not bad at all. 3.86. So, probably I'd want him more like in this area, but I'm not going to complain. Eduardo Rodriguez, I don't know how he didn't win Cy Young. Those are better numbers than what Skaggs put up. What? Otani, better. Definitely an improvement. So I, I'm cool with that. Trevor Cahill, probably done. You know, like, it's just, that's how it's going to be. Taylor Cole didn't do too well there. Minter, oh boy. Did he struggle? Okay. Uh, Bedrosian struggled. Santana struggled. Anderson struggled. How did we win the division? We like the bulk of our bullpen is above us, like a five ERA. Pagan, we brought him up. He did very well. Uh, Ramirez was struggling. Um, so I, I brought up Pagan. Uh, Butchery, ooh, or Butchery, whatever his name is. He does, he looks pretty solid for a setup role. And then Addison Reed did very well as the closer, kind of the second half of the season. Um, with that being said, we do have Keenan Middleton, who's a possibility, Estevez. It's a possibility. And then Barrios, who I think is still probably a couple seasons away. Um, for the rotation, though, we do have Barrio, who I know develops into a very good pitcher. So he's a player I'm going to keep my eye on, along with Griffin Canning. So we may not have to like look too far forward, like too much into a starting pitching uh, option, more figuring out our bullpen. Let's look at the lineup really fast. You guys can see things went pretty solid. You know, Rendon hit well. Simmons went well. Trout hit well. Um, Upton, okay. Um, Polanco, though, I saw this already. This is disappointing because last season he had a pretty solid season. This year, 223. That's just not good enough. Abreu did pretty solid in his one year here. Good one, okay. LaCroix, okay. Fletcher, meh. And then the bench was pretty subpar as well. Overall, you know, I feel like we 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 definitely need to work on that rotation. Something in the bullpen's not clicking. I guess not the starting rotation, just the actual bullpen. So let's see how things go in the playoffs. We won the division, taking on the Yankees is definitely going to be a, a tough matchup for us, and we already face elimination. So to be honest, let's just sim it. Oh, we didn't get we didn't get uh, swept, but we do lose that next game. And season one or season two, we made the playoffs, which is solid. Um, the Yankees defeat the Dodgers, and we're 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 doing a little bit better than I expected. Um, this season, I wasn't sure. You know, I was really. Um, unsure about the pitching and the bullpen kind of let us down so Simmons if I can get him for like a three-year deal I'll do it and not that much 15 is not that bad yeah let's let's bring it down a little bit can we get it down to actually 15 okay yeah that's not bad at all um, Skaggs actually pitched very well so let's try to get him on a, a kind of a long-term deal three years isn't that long but you know what I mean um Everybody else, though, I'd be cool with letting walk. What about Reed? Reed pitched well. Let's do a one-year deal for Reed, especially since he's normally not, like, too too expensive. So we'll do these three, and if we need to bring back anybody else, we will. Let's continue moving forward. And let's see 
40 man we don't have to worry about anybody there arbitration maybe not ramirez just because he kind of dipped at the end of the year but everybody else definitely will get arbitration and then looking at contracts ah, man this is this is a tough one because he did so poorly but i feel like we could probably trade him for someone of similar ability that's a little bit younger that could help us out so i'll, I'll bring him back if he's got a, a cheap deal oh yeah two mil we'll definitely bring him back everybody else and so that's that's kind of the off season so far okay to start season three this is how we're gonna this is what we're doing we're, we're trading for bobby wood jr we're also getting Suli Matias for Edgar Santana, Justin Anderson, and Michael Hermosillo. Um, Yeah. I just don't feel comfortable with those two bullpen arms. And we have a couple of bullpen arms in the farm system we could bring up. All right. So you're probably thinking why I signed that shortstop or traded for Bobby Wood Jr. Well, Andrelton Simmons decided to go to the Diamondbacks instead. So we didn't have a shortstop. So we kind of lost out on, you know, the one of the best shortstops in baseball and now you know we're, we're rocking with a little bit less of a shortstop um bobby wood jr could turn into a beast we'll have to wait and see it's season three though um jared walsh is going to take over in first i feel like we took a step back in terms of our lineup gregory polanco really worries me i mean we still have rendon trout and upton the thing is upton might start to decrease i hope not i mean he's got two years left polanco's on his last year so this is like his make or break season the bullpen, I feel like it should be a lot stronger. Estevez is up. Bedrosian's hopefully going to do well. Addison Reed, Keenan Middleton. We we have some decent arms. I just, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. Uh, when we look at our farm system, you know, we got Matias is there. We got Adele who's coming up soon. Ariz Arena, I signed in free agency. Dubon is the guy I signed in free agency to take over at shortstop. But then we traded for Bobby Witt Jr. We have Maitan here um second base we have jemai jones who could feature by season five we have matt tice like we have a couple names it's just the area i'm worried about the most is is, is pitching um we do have barrios who could feature by season five I, i'm looking at his stats who knows um russell park was another guy we drafted who knows about him it's just it's really hit or miss it really is i really don't know what to expect so let's get in, into it let's see how things go I'm a little worried about this year. I feel like we took a step back. Um, and it, it just, it just happened like Simmons, like losing Simmons kind of hurt because now we just had to trade some pieces away to fill that shortstop spot. Uh, first base free agency was a little weak. It, it just, it's tough. It's tough. If Polanco leaves, obviously we can find a new right fielder. We'll have some cap space to work with. If Justin Upton doesn't do well, we could trade him at the deadline, maybe get a better left fielder. So we, we do have some flexibility. We'll have to see how things go, though. So actually, what we're going to do here, because I thought I had a different trade. We're going to trade David Fletcher, Andrew Heaney, and Mauricio Dubon for Reese Hoskins and Vince Velasquez. Um, David Fletcher just can't hit above 250, like ever. So I'm going to just get rid of him. Andrew Heaney's just getting higher and higher in terms of ERA. And then Mauricio Dubon's just not cutting it um, as a backup shortstop. So... It's an okay trade. All right, for the season, we finished as a wild card team. 93 and 69. We're going to be taking on the Mariners in the first round of the postseason. Got a couple league leaders, most likely. Yeah, Mike, Mike Trout, I figured it would be. And then he got a Hank Aaron Award. So let's take a look at the team, see how things went with the changes. 265 is an okay. Like, this is like 270, 265 is like what I want from Polanco. Not like this garbage 223. Um stuff so that's not good rendon did well trout did well justin Upton did well so i'm going to keep him around for at least the, the rest of his contract reese hoskins 290 wilmer flores is a backup second baseman not too bad bobby witt at least brought his average up a little bit um and these guys did okay looking at the rest of the squad okay i mean not terrible but we definitely need to make some moves um looking at the starting rotation mm, like yikes Yikes, Otani, yikes too, man. These two though, these two are looking good. These two are looking good. Velasquez looks okay. I mean, I definitely want to see that go down. Reed's probably done. Pagan, eh. Estevez, eh. Minter, Butri, and Bidrosian. We got to figure out this closer spot. I feel like maybe it's time for the man, Adrian Barrios. It might be time for him. It might be time for him. So, we do have a couple prospects. Definitely need to look out for Keenan Middleton, I think it might just be time. Ooh, me 6.23 ERA. Yikes. Um, let's take a look. Like Matt Tice could be brought up. 
Jemai Jones. We got Kevin Maitan. Hmm. Joe Adele. I think Joe Adele is probably going to be our backup outfielder next year. Just think that's the move. Um, but let's let's get into this postseason game against the the Mariners. We're not going to play it, but we are going to quick sim it. Ooh, they got Yusei Kikuchi on the mound. We're gonna we're gonna go with that Eduardo Rodriguez. He's been one of our most consistent pitchers throughout the 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 time we've had him. So looking at the Mariners lineup, it looks standard. You know, Shed Long's been brought up. Okay, we got a guy in first, first and second. Trout, come on. You gotta be kidding me. First and second for Mike Trout, and he can't deliver? Does that say Otani's our DH? So I see the bug is back where pitchers are DHing again. Like, I don't mind because Otani can hit, but, you know, I don't I don't want Otani as my DH lefty-lefty matchup. You know what I mean? As I say that, he walks two outs. Just God, Come on, guys. There we go. Single, fly out, a single, first and third, sack fly. Oh man, come on, really? First and second, two outs. There we go, Gregory Polanco. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. He was doing so well. Like, just doing so well. And like, he had like half a bar of energy. Like, there's no, okay, Reese Hoskins gives us the lead back, so that's good. Bobby Wood Jr. gets on base and Shohei flies out. So, pitching change. Do I want to go to the pitching change though? Yeah, we'll go to Minter. There we go. Perfect. It was. I mean, I noticed there was a bunch of lefties. That's why I kind of was like, hey, we should probably do the change. So, um, another, another group of lefties. All right. Yeah, you're done, Minter. And then, do we want Bedrosian to come in? Pinch runner. Strikeout. Bedrosian. 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 All right, Mike Trout, start us off right. Start us off right. Come on. Nope. Upton. Nope. Hoskins. Okay, still alive. Do we have anybody who could hit? Cam Bedrosian, I swear to God, you're done. I don't I don't want to see your face in an Angels uniform ever again. The Mariners defeated the Phillies too. Are you kidding me? Unreal. Unreal. Let's get into it. <sighs> Alright, exclusive negotiations. How much does Polanco want? Let's do like two two for ten. That's not bad. Reed, Flores, no. Let's keep moving on. All right, arbitration. How do you hit? Two sixty-two. Joe Adele. Maybe we'll offer him arbitration. We'll give him a shot. Definitely want to offer him arbitration. This is the tough one because like he's good. All right, one more year, one more year, and then Joe Adele can take over for season five, and then contracts. Definitely everybody there. Um, oh yeah, everybody's getting their contracts for sure. Alrighty, season four. Yeah, season four. <laughs> uh, season four, this is how we're looking. Um, it looks a lot better. I'm, I'm gonna say that. I mean, Middleton's a little suspect. Um, but we brought up Barrios, who I thought was a righty, but he's a lefty. I'm gonna see how he does as a setup, man. We brought in Michael Givens as a closer. Um, I tried to get Osuna, but he went to the Red Sox, I think, instead, which is a little disappointing, but, you know, it happens. And then this is our lineup. We brought in Javi Baez to play second base, move him back to second. And then, um, yeah, we're looking we're looking pretty solid. The thing, I, I didn't want to move up Maitan, Adele, or Jemai Jones just yet. I still think they got maybe one more season in the minors, and then we bring them up. They'll be, like, around the 80 mark, and they definitely can make an impact on the squad. Um, it's not that I don't think they're ready. I think Jemai Jones is probably the best option in terms of like contact and stuff. Um, I don't know why he's playing first base, but, um, we'll, we'll see how he does. We'll see how he does. I'm kind of interested to see how much he grows him and Adele. Those are the, the big ones right there. So the team I think is a lot stronger. I think we definitely, we made some good moves 
in the offseason to really strengthen the team. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, this is kind of like a make or break for Bobby Witt. If, if he doesn't do well, we'll trade him. We'll bring up Jemai Jones. We'll move Javi back to short. And then we can probably find a really good like tr like trade piece because Bobby Witt's got a lot of trade value. So this is the team. I like it a lot more than what we had last year. Let's see how it pans out in season four. Season four, we won the division 104 and 58. We're taking on the winner of the wild card. So let's see how things went because I'm assuming it went well. Rendon hit 339 with 226 hits. What? Rendon won a Silver Slugger and a Hank Aaron Award. All right, cool, 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 cool. We had, I think that was Trout that got the Hank Aaron, not Rendon. But let's take a look. Polanco, we brought him in, and look what he's doing. He's putting up good numbers. It's awesome to see. Baez, 265, but power numbers went up. Trout, 292. I mean, it's just still unreal. 291 for Reese Hoskins, which is awesome to see. Justin Upton, starting to decrease. I mean, the power numbers are still there. Like, good home runs, good RBIs. But um, this is where he's going to start to decrease. He's opening up a lot of salary space, 20 million. We definitely can pick up a really solid outfielder to replace him. Rendon had a cr just a crazy year. Goodwin, not too bad either. Like, he's still very consistent. Like, and he hit 303, unreal. Um, Bobby Wood Jr., still struggling, still struggling, um, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Maybe time to find a new, new shortstop. James McCann was okay. Then we look at the rest. Eh, you know, Jemai Jones is probably going to be called up next year. I don't know why they keep moving him to first base. Why do they? I moved him out of first base. Um, Joe Adele is probably going to come up next year too. So we definitely have those options. Look at looking at pitching. Ooh, we struggled a little bit. Jaime, Jaime Barrio was our best pitcher. Um, yikes. Okay. Vince Velasquez, very good. Pagan, very good. Estevez struggled a little bit. Minter struggled quite a bit. Wow. Um, Yikes, Keenan Middleton struggled, Bedrosian, that's better, a lot better. Let's see how Barrios did, holy cow, he's up to an 87. He did well, he did really well. Michael Givens did really well as also, so like we got, there we go. We got Feltman who could come up next season. All right, all right, I'm liking the way the bullpen has turned it around, definitely turned it around. All right, we're taking on the Mariners and we're facing elimination already, that's, pretty <laughs> pretty unfortunate um we'll go skags we'll go skags why does this do this i don't what i, I still bet otani oh they actually it actually changed so there is still that bug where pitchers are filling in for the dh spot which is unfortunate because i thought they patched that and we didn't capitalize on that so it looks like they've added nobody actually and they get a run omar narvaez is like a must pick up if you need a catcher he always hits the ball so well he hits high average and stuff so okay a double with one out come on trout i need you to hit this sack fly that's all we needed that's what i wanted game a game tying hit all right we get out of that then justin upton gives us the lead okay if skags can get us through like five i'll be happy with that is it just me or is like Mike Trout been like super quiet in the playoffs? I feel like he just, he's been really quiet for us in the playoffs as we're down two. And I said, I wasn't going to let Skaggs go six, but we're, we're done with Skaggs now. Um, all right, let's, let's go. We got a string of lefties. Let's go Minter. I'm putting my faith in you. Exactly what I needed. A walk. Okay. A strikeout. There we go, Justin Upton. Two home runs this game. Are you serious? That's what I like to see. Bring in Bedrosian. Bedrosian, I swear to God, every playoff game, you go and do this. Oh, my God. All right, I need the pinch hit, so Otani's coming in. He strikes out. Awesome. Single. Okay, all right. Okay. First and second. Bias, please. I know you're hitting 154. I need you to get a hit here. Not what I needed. Rendon. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Where is he? Mike, Michael Givens. Come in here. Shut the door, please. There we go. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's do it again. <laughs> let's do it again. Uh, it's going to be canning, right? 
Yeah, let's 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 give Griffin Canning a shot. We'll we'll let I don't know why I let Otani go. He was it's a lefty lefty matchup. Rendon staying hot. Alright, gets that out. Okay. First and second. No, not first and second. I lied. Come on. Let's just let's no 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 no. First and second with Upton. Man, didn't he's not swinging the hot bat like he did yesterday, unfortunately. A double. Ooh, come on. We're really not going to bring in the double? All right, we're... Okay. All right, he's done. He's done. He's done. Lefty, lefty. Okay. Get a hit, please. Somebody. First and second. Rendon. Three-run bomb again. This is what we need. No? What the... Uh, no, not walk batter. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Double play. I'll take that though. Okay. <laughs> it's like it never happened. Um, all right, we're not going to mess around anymore. String of lefties. Minter. All right, we're going to go to the righty. Not Bidroge. And we'll go to Pagan. And uh, we're, in a, we're in a bit of a pickle. Barrios gets us out of it. All right, two runs. We need two runs. Bobby Witt's not hitting the ball well. Um, I feel it. I feel it. They, okay, I guess not. Otani, that's. Uh, ay, ay, ay. All right, let's get going. Season five, we can do it. Padres, def Ooh, the Padres defeat the Yankees. Okay, um, let's just, let's keep going. Let's see what we can do. Alrighty, so exclusive negotiations. Bedrosian, I. You did so well, but in the postseason, you just. Destroy, you just killed us. I'm gonna give you a two-year deal. <laughs> Sound logic, right? All right, so we'll just do that. Everybody else, I don't really want to pay right now. Um, we definitely got to make sure we add all these guys to the 40 man. Arbitration, we'll we'll do it. Minter was a little suspect, but we'll definitely make sure that we bring him back. And then contracts, everybody's going to get a contract as well. All right, it's time for the fifth and final season. You guys can see we did make a couple more changes. Ben Attendee's brought, been brought in. Uh, we brought in JD Martinez for a one-year deal um, just for a DH. That's literally the only reason why we have him in the squad. Um, and then Elias Diaz is going to be our new catcher. And then when we look at the pitching rotation, uh, we brought up Feltman. And that was it. That's the only change. Yeah. Um, I don't think I brought. Yeah. That's the only change. I, I like the I like the bullpen. I think it's really strong. I want to see how Barrios does. I think he's going to turn into an, like 95 plus after this season. Um, pitching should do its job. I'm hoping. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, the lineup looks scary. The bullpen looks really strong. Probably the strongest it's ever been. Adele, Jemai Jones is up in the, the bigs as well. So we'll see how things go. I'm kind of excited to see how things go, and uh, hopefully we can get past the first round of the playoffs for once. That'd be nice. So let's get into it. Alrighty, last season, 175, oh no, whoa, that's not right, 107 and 55. Again, we're taking on the wild card winners, so you know what that means. We're going to lose first round. League leaders, Trout, home runs, doubles, triples, RBIs, batting average, and then Rendon had hits. So yeah. That's triple crown. Yeah. Mike Trout won triple crown. Silver Slugger. MVP. Hank Aaron. No gold glove. All right. So, you know, just a low key triple crown last season. And our first four hitters all hit 300. Ben Attendee hit 36 home runs. 40, 49, 44. He hit 302. He hit 33 home runs. Okay, there's our first non-300 hitter. Um, 276, 274, 234. Jesus. Are you kidding me? That's gross. Those are just gross numbers. Griffin Canning's looking like a solid, solid pitcher. Now, uh, Eduardo Rodriguez is still pitching very well. Skaggs did well. Bari up, you know, eh. And then Shohei never really pitched amazingly. Let's take a look at the bullpen. Givens a, a little suspect, a little suspect. Bedrosian a little suspect as well. But Barrios, dude. Barrios is the real deal. Um, once I moved him to the, the closer spot, he struggled a little bit. At the 
deadline day, he had like an ERA of like 1.08. It was gross. It was really gross. Like it's just scary good numbers. Um, we'll take a look, see if any of our prospects are kind of floating around. Um, the only one I'm really interested in was Russell Park. And, you know, he's still probably a couple of seasons away. So we got Boutry's up to an 81. He's been kind of hanging around the team for a while. Matt Tice, he looks okay. Um, Will Wilson looks all right. Jeff Cox was a guy signed last year in free agency. He actually doesn't look too bad. He looks like a player who would definitely get called up soon. Jeremiah Jackson's here. Mike Tan's there. Um, Joe Adele, Jordan Adams. You got Deshaun Knowles, Sulis Matias. So definitely some prospects in the farm system that would allow us to trade away some expensive players or let some expensive players walk. Um, looking at this matchup against the, the Athletics, and we are facing elimination as per usual. It just it just always happens. You got the best record, you get knocked out. That's just the way it goes. I don't want Otani pitching at all. Um, we're going to go Jaime Berea. So let's take a look at this athletics team once we actually get there, which happens now. So Merrifield and Ciarte are new. Chris Taylor's new. Billy McKinney's new. Jonathan Villar's new. Buster Posey. I'm pretty sure that's... Garcia's what the catcher third baseman from the Giants. That's a great start to nothing. All right All right, Mart JD Martinez gets us one back. There we go. Baez gets us the second back and we're tied. All right, cool So now let's get the runs first and second to JD Martinez Clutch pickup clutch pickup. All right Let's let's keep let's keep getting these runs in All right, we got out of that. That's good an error mm-hmm then nothing comes of it, like like usual. And then Inciarte takes us deep. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Inciarte. Elias Diaz Diaz hits a two-run bomb, gives us a three-run lead again. Okay, okay. I'm going to let Barrio go one more. Gets us out of it. Perfect. And then first and second for JD Martinez. Nothing happens. All right, cool, cool, cool. Seventh inning. We're going to go to Estevez. One, two, three. Perfect. And then nothing happens. We're going to go. We'll let Estevez not pitch anymore. <laughs> we'll not let him pitch anymore. So we're going to go switch hitter lefty. Let's go lefty. Perfect. That's what we need. And you know Barrios is coming in next inning to close the door. Unless we just absolutely tear things open right here. Which we don't. So Barrios comes in. Does the job. We Okay. All right. All right. One more game. Can we advance for once? Because I feel like we just don't ever advance. Oh man, I just. <sighs> Shohei, Shohei, it's your chance. It all rests on you. Awesome, great start. Fantastic start. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. This was not the right move. It was just, it was just not what we were meant, it was just not meant to be. Come on. Let's get a run. Hmm. That's a good start. A walk. You know, we got a guy on, but then we don't do anything with it unless JD Martinez scores them all. So, I mean, since that first inning, Otani's done a lot better, but, you know, that first inning is just, that's tough to come back from. So we're down three now. We're down two. Okay. Things get a little interesting. Shohei's done. Shohei's done. Um, all right, we get out of it. Let's go, Bobby Witt. Polanco, somebody get a hit. Come on. All right, first and third, and nothing happens. Jeez. A run scored. Are you serious? Are you serious? All right, there's that. Trout, get on. What? Hoskins, JD Martin, like anybody? A double to start it off. Awesome. Um,. Buster Posey, are you serious? Buster Posey? Buster Posey. All right, Barrios, you gotta come in and do some work here. I mean, um, all right, we get on. One scores, first and second, no outs. First and second, one out, lefty, lefty. Let's, uh, hmm. He doesn't have the best stats hitting lefties, so let's go with Adele. Two run score. All right, things are getting interesting. 
I swear to God. I swear to God. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can't let him go another inning. Um... Jeez, this is ridiculous. This game is unreal. Come on, somebody. We we gotta strike soon. Baez, yes. Wit, no. Polanco, please. Anybody, somebody. Anybody, anybody at all. Anybody at all. First and second, JD Martinez, please. Ah, no. Okay, all right. Come on, anybody. Why you got to do that? Like, and think about it. If Otani doesn't allow four runs in the first, and we don't allow four runs in the eighth, we win that game. That's just... That hurts. That one hurt. Because it got my hopes up. Like, oh, you got back into it. Game's tied. You're going to win this. Momentum's on your side. And then what happens? We lose. We lose. We lose. We lose. So, yeah that's that's how things and the, then of course they go and win the world series you know that's just how things go so ben attendee hit 100 who else did pretty poorly i don't really know. bobby wood jr i think bobby wood jr probably was a bad trade because he didn't really do much for us like ever probably need him like what three years from now when he's like 25 and he can actually hit the ball so probably not the best i mean simmons leaving us was kind of like the worst thing that could happen to us at the shortstop position. Overall, I mean, let's take a look at the the budget. So we got JD Martinez leaving, so there's opening. Skaggs leaving, Polanco leaving. There's three like 30 million right there that you can invest in new players. Hoskins becomes a, an availability if you wanted to bring him back. Um I mean, yeah, you definitely have space to bring in some replacements for players that are leaving. Um I think you got a strong starting rotation. I think Otani is like your biggest question mark because he's just not a pitcher. So um, everybody else is pretty solid. Minter, you could probably let go. Bedrosian, that's just garbage can. I just don't understand it. Um, I think this guy's like going to be really good. Very, very good. So I think that the, the pitching's got very good core pieces that you can build around Benatendi, Rendon, Trout, Hoskins. They're good. You got bias for what two more years yeah two more years i think you still got a really good core there and you got like adele coming up you got jemai jones you got jeremiah jackson sulis matias matt tice kevin maitan you you got pieces the team's set up for the future as well just unfortunately we couldn't make it past the first round of a single playoff at all like ever like i just don't get it and especially since we're winning 100 games what three seasons out of the five that sucks. That sucks. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Re Angels rebuild. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoying the content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.